Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about money. Very interesting topic. And there are a lot of videos you can find on YouTube talking about money, especially in tech. So I thought, why don't I share my views about making money in tech? But I would take a different stance. So maybe you are interested in finding a job in tech because there is a lot of high paying jobs in tech. You will go to YouTube, you will find a lot of videos which talks about how to make money while coding, how much you can make, top 10 careers, all these videos. And they're pretty interesting and you probably get some insight but the thing is my stance today is a little bit different for me money is a good motivator but if your sole purpose is to make money while finding a job in tech i think you will be a little disappointed by how much you get paid plus how much work you will need to do while getting that salary so the first point i want to talk about is shiny new syndrome so you know a few years ago there was this crypto things web3 everywhere you go twitter YouTube, TikTok, you just see Web3 content. Everyone was saying that everyone will move to Meta, everyone will move to cryptocurrency where you will be paying each other in cryptocurrency. You will be living in this island where all of your friends will be there and you will be interacting with them in a metaverse. That thing didn't work, right? I mean, uh, I'm not saying technology was bad. It was good technology. It's still a good, good technology, a lot of people using it. But I think at that moment, some people were pushing this idea of Web3 that that's the final thing. And after that, there won't be anything new happen. And nowadays, we have something called AI, machine learning. So everyone is pushing that you should do machine learning or you should do artificial intelligence. And before that, we had data science. Everyone should be a data scientist or data analyst. So these new things will come and go. So if you solely depend on these new fields that only the new field excites you, I don't think you can make a lot of money in tech that way. Because the thing is, there might be not many jobs in that area. So I don't recommend that you run behind every single new thing. Yeah, I, I don't believe in it. And uh, you will save a lot of time and money if you don't pursue a uh, goal of chasing the shiny new syndrome. So let's see what I recommend doing. So first of all, let's think what is a job. A job is a transaction between you and your employer. So you do something and your employer will pay to you for that work. So that is a job. It's nothing more than that. Anywhere you work in the world, that will be the definition of a job. And to find a job, you need to find a skill. See, if someone is paying you $1, they are looking to get some amount of that back to them. So if someone paying you $1, they're probably expecting you get, they get one plus X, and X is amount like your hard work or whatever work you provided, and, employ, and your employer will make money out of that X. So that's a simple uh, transaction which happens between you and your employer. And in order to get a job, what one thing you need to have? Well, that one thing is skill. You need to have some kind of skill so that you can sell your skill and get money. And if you have that skill, you will make money. But the thing is nowadays, a lot of people push that you should aim for the highest paying jobs. So maybe you should do artificial intelligence or maybe you should do DevOps. I don't know, like all these things where you can make a lot of money. But that is not the right approach. Because anything you do in tech, if you are good in that, you'll make money no matter what. But you'll make money in the long run. Most probably you won't, you probably don't get uh, a high paid first job. I didn't get that. Most people don't. Some people do. I mean, I, don't, I mean, good for you if, you if you if you get that. But most people, they will not be able to get a high paying job because that's not how market works. Market works with supply and demand. If there are a lot of supply of one particular skill level, then you will not get that much uh, salary. Uh, but in order to get skillful, you need to work or you need to gain experience. So gain experience, become skillful, and in the long run, you will make money in any field, not in tech, in any field, you'll make money. And now you'll be asking, what should you do? Well, I think you should do things that excites you. You should, first of all, research things, like what kind of things you can do. So there are a lot of things you can do in tech, and they are not related to coding. Most of the things in tech have nothing to do with coding. Coding is a very small part, and there are whole infrastructure teams that do most of the job without any coding. And coding is probably that part, and this part is maybe even that part is you don't need to do any coding. So do what excites you, do what you think you are good at, and start applying jobs rather than listening to people and say you should do that because in that you'll get a lot of salary. That's not the right mindset to look at any job. So find areas where you, where you feel like you have some interest or you can learn something. And there are fields where you will find a lot of resources on the internet for free. For example, if you're doing any kind of development in web or in app, you will see a lot of tutorials. Uh, there are other fields where you don't find that many resources. So at the end of the day, it will be your decision what you want to do. So if there are a lot of resources available, it means there will be a lot of people applying for that position. So maybe less chance of getting a job. But on the other hand, if you can find a way 
to learn a skill which is in demand but not uh, but not too many people can afford or get to that knowledge then i think you have a really good chance so it's totally up to you what you want to do what you can do is you can do your own research you can talk to your friends your seniors and ask them like what they're doing where they're thinking that technology is heading so you can get some idea that way i mean you can do your research uh, and find areas where you can uh, you can gain some knowledge and experience and then start applying jobs and a lot of things uh, people they don't talk about when they talk about money is the work life balance i mean at the end of the day you need to have time you must have time to enjoy your life right but if you're working all day you probably don't have that much time to spend with your family friends right so make sure when you think about your career think about what you want to do you think about work life balance as well i know it's it's getting harder these days to to uh, to find this balance because we all have like our daily job like i have my day job and then on top of that i do these things then i have my other responsibilities so at the end of the day you might not have a lot of time but you need to plan your life in a way where you uh, somewhere in the foreseeable future you should see yourself having more free time than less because see you will be getting a lot of promotions you will be getting a lot of new responsibilities but ultimately it will be your uh, decision if you want to take that because if you take that your work life balance might shrink a little bit so i would highly recommend if you're thinking about getting into a particular technology getting into a particular job just think like what will be your life in next 5 to 10 years and the last point is think long term don't think about what you're going to do tomorrow or what you're going to do in next 6 months think what you're going to do in next 5 years 10 years i know it's it's all it's always harder to think like that long term but at least you should have some idea that you want to do job in this field or you want to start your own business in that field so that you can prepare yourself and you can think ahead uh if you're just focusing on money that how much money i'll make this month this week or this year you won't be able to get the idea that how your life will look like in the next 5 10 years so uh, to summarize these points my main goal uh, about making this video is to think about things which are outside money uh, there are a lot of things which are outside money your work life balance uh, your mental health your physical health all these things uh, revolves around money and money is the central part but you don't have to always run behind it Uh yeah I mean that was uh, I think all from this video I wanted to make it a short quick video uh my ideas what I think about that money thing in our tech industry well that's it from today's video and I will see you in next one thanks a lot for watching